Sounds about right. All right, well, you're on this too, so get over. Now we're on Mars. That a girl. Come on. I knew you could do it. You calm down. Except it still doesn't say we're live. It, it takes a second on YouTube. I literally just hit the button. All right. Oh, here we go. There it is. What is isn't it? Oh, we got an ad on YouTube. We have a lot of people joining. What's up, guys? We are taking over Tech Talk. Tony is somewhere tropical off Florida doing tropical Tony things. Uh, so we are taking over, and uh, yeah, we'll answer any questions, but really we're just kind of giving you an update of, we've done a lot of work to Banshee and Growler over the years, uh, I don't think we've really ha highlighted them on Tech Talk for, I don't know, it's since been, the beginning of them being It's been a year built, or two, at least. A couple years, yeah. so kind of going that, we have a special guest, Arnold, of the lowest YJ behind us. Uh, you don't have to do that. They can't see you. Uh, and Jordan over there, so they'll come on here in a little bit. Uh, Terry Moe said, sound good. Oh, we got a lot of people on. All right. All right. Travis, what's up, Travis? Uh, not yet. I don't know, dude. Uh, Travis is on. He uh, He's opening like a brew house up in uh, NorCal where he's going to start hosting Gin Right Night. So uh, follow him on Instagram, oh. one 800 tell you out. Uh, he's one of our That's ambassadors. Sick. That'd be super cool. Craig Colbert. Hey, Craig. Mark Lawrence. How's it going? Alan Alvarez. Oh, boy. Oh, Alan. Uh, Laura Cote. Hey, Laura. Hi, Sydney. Alan says, hi, Jamie. I guess I'm chopped delivery. He says nothing to me. What's All up? Right, noted. <laughs> Alex Israel. We've got Rich Jedlowski. How you doing? Uh, on... Did you see anything on YouTube, Jim? I thought I was on Facebook, homie. Nope, you were on YouTube. Let me get there. Hold on. You can be on either one. I got them both covered. Well, then what's the deal? All right. <laughs> we're given one note from Tony today to talk about. This is, forgot about the sled. Uh, if you have questions about your Jeep, include make, model, year. And just be very detailed in your question so we can uh, best try to answer it. Man, that light is bright. That one? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bright. Uh, future product. Is this on the site yet? Yes. We is. just launched a whole bunch of new apparel. Stuff like this. Also in gray. And stuff like that. Stuff like so, that. And then the shirt. Yes. Available online. They're awesome. Get them for summer. And... And, uh, and believe it or not, we still have the Jeff Banshee hoodie available in limited sizes. It won't last forever. Once they're gone, they're never coming back. Good call, Jordan. And, and we do have more stuff on the way, so uh, be on the lookout. Terry Mode says, hold on, need more popcorn. Richard Garrett says, got a surprise for you. That terrifies me if you know Richard Garrett. That's a little scary. Uh -huh. Craig Bettelheim from San Halo. Craig, are you uh, going to meet us at San Hollow next week? Are you already there? Deborah Cornell. Hey, Deborah. She's my hockey buddy. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, Richard Garrett wants to know where his Christmas present on is. Uh, it's in our living room. It's still wrapped in Christmas wrapping paper. Oh. And I will bring it to you on Sunday. Always. Uh my buddy Alex says, thanks for the tracer parts. Jeep isn't going to be ready for Jeep Beach. We'll go work on it. Get it ready, man. Uh, all right. Well, we're going to talk about Banshee and Growler. Um, I've done a bunch of work to mine after my engine blew uh, last year at Santalo. I decided to rebuild a whole lot that I didn't like on it. That was at Sand Hollow? That was at Trail Hero. Um, Remember, I was rocking seven to seven yeah. cylinders, all trail hero. Yes, sir. Yep. Um, anybody have? And, and you made some other upgrades. I made a lot of upgrades. What have, what have I done? Uh, first I put our motor mounts on, so it was pretty solid. And then this past weekend, I did. Is there pictures? There it is. I did I the RCVs. Oh. Project number one, I put in ball valves so I can turn off the front or rear, bra rear brakes in case I blow a line or 
if I need to. That was a fun job making brake lines. It's a lot of fun. Did you put that in the cab or is yeah. that in the cab or in the? Yeah, that is under my dash. Okay. Dash, stanchion. Very nice. Weld job through paint. That looks good. Very nice. Send it. Yeah. Uh, and then this weekend I did the American Iron Off-Road Ball Joint Deletes and RCVs. Pretty excited about that. Um, a lot of ball joints get a lot of heat for being the weak part, whether that's true or not. Everything wears out, whether it's a kingpin or a ball joint. Uh, but I'm pretty pumped about them. It was a pretty easy install. Uh, they have a weld-in version and a C-clip version. We went with the weld-in version. <laughs> Um, yeah. What are you laughing at, James? Laura Coda said it was Sydney's fault that you busted your motor. She was wanting you to go fast in the dunes. You know what? It was Sydney's fault. I wasn't going to call her out like that, but leave it to her mom to call her out. Hey. Come on, Sid. You're better than that. That's okay. Well, you'll get redemption next year. <laughs> Hopefully they're coming to S'more to wheel with us, so well, that'll be fun. Yes. What else we got? Uh, and then I went with the slugs instead of the lockout hubs because I really don't drive my Jeep on the street unless I'm at EJS or That's a good call. Yeah. ever, really. Uh, so I went with that. What else we got? Well, that's pretty much on my Jeep. I rebuilt all my Johnny joints, a lot of maintenance issues. Mm -hmm. Jamie's been loaded up on the maintenance stuff. Yeah. What have you yeah, done, Jim? Like, like you said, uh, Johnny joints is a big one. Um, it's been like three years on the same Johnnies, and you know they're getting tired. Um, hey, we're tired. Yes, no, we're very probably tired. not as adamant about greasing them as we should be. Probably not. Um, and I, d I did have to put a new rear axle um, in. And what locker did you go with? I went with a Detroit this time. Yeah, we both. Um, I had the e-locker, but that, I mean, that's what they had at the moment. So, um, honestly, I love it so far. I've been out a couple times with it. Uh, it's great. Um, and I've just been kind of cleaning stuff up, like wiring and, yeah, you know. It's nice that we're a few years after our builds, and now we yeah. can kind of, like, go into... Finishing some stuff up, final yes. touches. Yeah, like, like the like, like the ball valves. Right. Um, like just refine it. Refine it a yeah. little bit because I mean, as you guys know, with Jeeps, you're never done. It's, Although I kind of feel like I'm kind of close. It's never ending, but don't you better knock on some wood. Oh no! Know, but after that. San Hell, I got full manual brakes going in that I'm kind of excited about. Yes. Uh, we have George Gonzalez. Is it difficult to go high line fenders on a Jeep TJ? Uh, not at all, especially since now that we offer a fiberglass and carbon fiber hood for the TJ LJ to where you don't even have to cut your hood line. Uh, and if you get our inner fenders, it's super simple, straightforward. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. not that hard at all. No. Uh, we have Let's a big primed. We're just going through questions. Uh, Craig, if your RCVs are going click, 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 it's time for a rebuild. Yes. New star and new, uh, new yep. balls. Yep. And pack them with grease. We have my buddy Jason Carnes on. He's, uh, I imagine he's drinking a nice uh, Jaeger and Monster right now. Don't knock it till you tried it. It's delightful. <laughs> um... All right, might, might be time for the lowest YJ to come on. Yeah, get over here. Arnold. And you. That was weird, guys. That be was, happy that, that was wasn't a, on that camera. That was a little weird. Uh, for those who don't know, you got to stand right in the middle. Ah, in the middle. Yeah. For those who don't, don't know Arnold, he is one of our engineers here. And uh, he just built a YJ that he calls the lowest YJ. Is it the lowest? We don't know. He thinks it is. 
It's the lowest with a steering box, I'd say. Oh, he always adds that in. I set him up perfectly. <laughs> and stock motor. Stock <laughs> no, motor. Keep adding things. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, it does great. He uh, wheeled the crap out of it at San, at, uh, San Halo. Mm-hmm. And then uh, pre-ran a little bit with uh, following Jordan at King of the Hammers, which was a lot of fun. So uh, I'm sure you guys are kind of familiar with it. He wouldn't commit to being on Tech Talk today, so I don't have any pictures lined up of the lowest YJ. It's basically a, a YJ, though, stock motor, manual, Atlas 4-speed, uh, Tracer TJ belly section, mm-hmm. uh, 107 wheelbase. Um it's basically like... Gen right builder's parts. Yeah. It's um, basically like mine with the steering box. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And no V8. <laughs> no V8. Not yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, know, I know. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I had to put a whole new motor in <laughs> since Trail Hero last year. In oh, my yeah. condo garage. That was a lot of fun. Highly recommend. Neighbors probably love you. Uh, they did love me, for sure. <laughs> I bet. Uh, so I started that project without knowing break it, how to break in and see the seals of a brand new V8. As it turns out, you have to just start the motor and keep it like 2,500 mm. to three grand for about mm. 18 to 20 minutes and then mm. let it cool for about five hours. So right when I got the tune in on a Saturday morning at about 8 a.m. in my condo garage, I had to rev it for about 20 minutes at three grand. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah. Did I meet some neighbors that day or what? Yeah, I bet, dude. It was fine. It was fine. Maybe a little. Oh, bit. Arnold, you're getting called out. You said oh. you, you, uh, your YJ also has a pink windshield banner. Oh, not anymore. Not anymore. But a lot of people missed you changed it. it. Everybody yeah. missed it. I did, even did a vote from the Generate right page yeah. on Instagram Everyone that it needs pink. it back. All right, maybe for Trail Hero this year, I'll put, I'll put a pink one back on. Permanently. No, it just doesn't go with the Jeep. I, ended up going... I will give you $5 a month. For the rest of our lives. Yes. Until you roll. <laughs> oh, I don't, don't want to roll. Oh, I know exactly. That. Don't roll and you get five hours a month for the rest roll. of your life from me. Oh. That'll add up. Yep. For pink. No, when I was going through the pictures, I think I told you. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, who the fuck is this? Debbie. Pink windshield banner. It's me like, it's with hard. the pink windshield banner. Reviewer Debbie Pellegrino says, Arnold is modest. He's Jen Wright's CAD designer extraordinaire. Thanks, Debbie. Thanks, Debbie. Debbie. Good I'm, just a, out, I'm just a computer donkey or whatever they call it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just I'm made that up right now. It's Kelly, Sim- Kelly Sims is just joining us. Hey, Kelly. Hey. Uh, we're, we're excited to see Kelly next week at uh, the Jen Wright event in San Howell. Oh, yeah. Jordan and I have been talking about going out for the day in my Jeep. Going out for the day to Just, like, like literally leave after That's... work, bomb straight there, oh. get there by midnight, wake up, 6 a.m., start Dude. wheeling. Do it. Straight to Twister. I'm just kidding. But No, like, I'm not. I would totally be <laughs> in for that. I want to do joint effort. and. Uh, oh, you should. Joint effort's off. awesome. Awful or awesome? <laughs> awesome. Nasty half was awful for me. Yeah, we got to get redemption. I agree. Uh, Jeff and I both I had to get winched out of uh, what, like the third obstacle where you're like. It was pretty far in, the, yeah. the messed up one, but he had to get winched out. I had to get four winched out. Yeah. I was winching him from the top yeah. of the, on the sand hill. Yeah. I was on the sand hill, butted up against a bush, and I had like my full winch line out. Jordan was running a, a strap down there. Yep. Yeah. And then you, 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 I, ju- you just happened to be driving by. Yeah. And we're, and, so Jordan and I came back from Zion. We took Jordan. The, we took the day. Come on here, Jordan. Come on. Roll in? Yeah, oh, roll in. That, that must have been the day when I was working on my Jeep. It's story time. Yeah, you were working Whatever on your Jeep you that day. Right. So Jamie, Jamie, uh, Jamie, Jordan, me, Jeff, like a whole Genrite crew went up and did Twister that morning. Mm-hmm. And then Which Jordan and I. Awesome. Yeah, it that was, was awesome. That was sick. Super that was gnarly sick. trail. Yeah. Super awesome, though. Good traction. Mm-hmm. Um, so then Jordan and I decided to go to Zion. Uh, check Zion out the whole date. area. Well, yeah, little date, yeah, Zion, little yeah. date in Zion. Little hands, a little cab. <laughs> <laughs> we came back, and Pretty then, um, you know, it's kind of dark out. We're just looking for everyone. And then Tony's like, we go to the, the motorhome, and Tony's like, oh, Alan and, and Jeff, like, went out, and <laughs> they're wheeling. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> they, they went on a I don't know if that reaction's good. He run. said they went on a night run, and it was la- it was pretty late already. Yeah, but we were like, just looking yeah. for something to do. So we're cruising up the sand hill, and then we look down in the canyon, and uh, we see 
nasty half and we're like oh dude there's a bunch of guys stuck yes in there, there like, was like there was like there was a line of like 30 people yeah in there, so many yeah. lights and then we're like dude, oh who's wait down on there? me well we, <laughs> didn't know, we didn't know it was you we're walking we down you. and then we're like this, dude yeah. there's there's alan's jeep oh there's a uh, martin's jeep oh someone's flipped over over there so we like keep walking down we're like dude that guy's jeff, it's jeff. i wasn't flipped <laughs> no no but it looked bad i was wedged top. it looked bad i from definitely where we were. needed you up there to get out of the situation but yeah. all that broke that's actually why i was so adamant to do my rcvs this past yeah. weekend just had my whole, whole axle mm-hmm. apart to look at it nothing was even bent nothing it made a on. weird noise i remember it did yeah i think it was just it was just so loaded or it was like my rear Detroit on yeah something. doing something like it popped out yeah. when it was kind of under yeah. pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think that was it. But yeah. luckily, it was good. They helped me get out. All that was messed up was a windshield frame and windshield. And right. my buddy Tommy, Tommy from Sergeant Jeep pulls by the next morning at eight a.m. He's like, "Hey, look at my truck bed." I go look at a truck bed, brand new TJ windshield frame with glass, <laughs> ready to go. So it was about a seven, six hour turnaround from yeah. what it looked like new. So yeah. I'll bad. take it. Not bad. Take, we got any comments here, Jim? Uh, we got. Uh, oh, we got Rick Harrington on. What's up, Rick? Questions about Trail Hero and stuff. Is, but that's a little early for that. Mark Warrens, uh Yeah, I will put together the uh, Trail Hero trail list. Um, probably about three weeks before Trail Hero. Jason said it's a party. Be a bigger party if he was here. Chris Locke is wa- watching. Uh, Chris, you coming out to do the Hammers experience? He was on the list. Oh, here's a question. It's a good one for Arnold. On the Elite JKU, if everything is built to spec, what amount of up travel should I have at right height? Front seat's higher than the back. I'm wondering if I need a heavier spring and brack. Um... Was everything to our spec? I, I doubt you would need a heavier spring in back, and you might have to adjust your preload just a little bit. Um, Possibly, yeah. I think there's about five inches of up travel oh, at just right about height. Five. Um, like I'd pro- say a hair under five. Yeah, like you're probably like two, maybe three inches off bump, like between the the bump stop pad and the bottom of the air bump. Correct. Yeah. Um, yeah, if it's all the, the if the springs are the right spec, then it should sit no. pretty and, good. And I'd I'd be curious. I'd like to get some miles on it to break in the springs. Correct. Yeah, they're so, always it, it, yeah. right when you build it, everything's so stiff. It's stiff. Driving it's all so new. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it's gonna settle. It'll exactly. Settle, yeah. Yeah. We have Stephen Bird on right now. Yeah. I'll ask him for him. Uh, <laughs> has uh, Little Guy Racing Parts come up with uh, JKU yet? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it's about where it was last time we okay. spoke of it. All right. Ask Blake Weaver what his question is. He said he has a, a question seriously. I don't know. Uh, Fernando says Jeff rules. I agree. <laughs> um, he does. There wasn't enough information to answer it, James. Okay. Uh, so if you could be very detailed... Um, he says he has a Gen Wright Ultimate chassis with a King 30 in our gas tank. Um, that is very big. I, yeah. I, uh, do maybe the, the model Jeep you have and get a few few more details and we'll, we'll try to help you out. Uh, San Diego Jeep Club, a Genrite will not have a booth at the vendor show at EJS. We are going to Sand Hollow and wheeling with customers and friends and whoever wants to join us instead. Uh, so we'll have about three trail run. We'll uh, start in the morning at like 8.30 a.m. Um, we'll probably have three different groups going out, beginner, intermediate, and uh, as hard as people want to do. And uh, we're doing that instead. Uh, everything's settled a little bit. That's I broke true. Tony's cabinet. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it's He's an engineer. Broken. He will figure it's, out how to fix it. It's a, no, no, no. Whoa. It's adjustable. I just, it. just, <laughs> it. just lean it up. Lean it. Jeez. I'm trying. Uh, so Stephen Bird says, tell Jordan I need a team shirt. 
<laughs> Roger that. Sit on it. He says uh, it's in the mail. <laughs> it's in the mail. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Anything good? Uh, right, updates uh, on jail interfenders. I don't know if that's a Tony thing. They're already, uh, already a thing. 2008 JKU or JK392 Hemi 8 speed swap running a Pro Black 60 high pinion semi float rear. Do you guys know of a w best way to convert it to a full float if possible? Buy a new axle, I think, right? Yeah. You can't I, really convert. I think you uh, put that one on Facebook Marketplace and order a new Pro Rock 80 full float. Yeah, because you'd have to like cut the the flange off and weld on a spindle, yeah. but it's there's it's almost impossible Just to get straight. It. It's not worth the trouble yeah. exactly, and you'll probably get good money selling it. Yeah. Online. Yep. That's it. With a new Elite Stage 1, is there a possibility of a YJ version using a JT axles and coilovers? Uh, we, 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 could, we could accommodate a great suspension for your YJ using JT axles and coilovers. It'd be our Legend kit. But the, our Elite suspension is specifically designed for the JKU. Uh, so it wouldn't really apply to a YJ, but we already have a great suspension that would accommodate the JT axles. Uh, they would probably, they're a little narrow, narrower than our spec, so they'd probably accommodate for a 2.0 uh, coilover. But uh, we could get you set up right now. You know, we have to wait for the Elite Stage 1, so that works out well for him. <laughs> yeah, you can find those axles for a pretty good deal on uh, Marketplace, Craigslist. Yeah, they might already have them. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. What brand springs do you guys recommend with CJ for a CJ with TJ suspension LS? Rock jocks, three, uh, two to three inch springs needed. Coil uh, spring, not coil over? I, I think it's coil spring. Yeah. Uh, I always like uh, rock jock <laughs> four by four springs if they have something up your alley. Uh, people have had pretty good luck with those. King 3.0. Um, we have Blake Weaver asking if any any issues people having to wait for system to prime. Uh, still need to know more. What what kind of engine are you running? Kind of what what's your setup? I mean, sometimes you do flip the key to ignition. And you do have to wait a second for the engine to prime. That's not completely like uncommon. Like fuel or oil. I, Fuel, I think, I think I'm thinking he's talking it's about JK? fuel. It's a JK. Are we, are, he, uh... So I know I know for sure uh, on the JL gas tank that we build, uh, you need to fill your. It says it in the instructions, but you need to fill your tank with at least five gallons or ten or something like that. The initial so the initial it'll install it'll properly bleed so it'll out. properly bleed yeah, out. Yeah. 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 Hmm. But um, if that applies to JL. You on YouTube or Facebook? That's YouTube That's on YouTube, Facebook yeah. here. What is that? Oh, we got Paul Smith watching. What's up, pink thing? <laughs> Hope to uh, see him maybe at Trail Hero since we won't be at EJS. 15 over two. Blake yeah, Weaver says JK body. Um, Blake, we need a lot of information. Maybe, uh, maybe call me or Andrew tomorrow, and we'll, we'll be able to ask you the specific questions that we'd need to get to the bottom of uh, what's going on. Got a few questions on here. We got a few questions on here. Mm -hmm. uh, what spring rates do you recommend on my front spring rates on my stretch 2007 JK? Uh, he is a two-door. 14-inch 2.0 coilover I originally bought for the rear, I'm pretty sure the 150 and 200 is too light. Um, I mean, if you already have the 150, 200, I would throw them on, see where that puts you, and then by where that puts you, you'd have a better idea of what springs to put on. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and with that information, you can call someone like Ibach or yeah, Hyperco, in. or even uh, even if I mean. We know Jerry pretty well. If he yeah. sends us a, once you put that on and you send us a picture, we'll be able to way better gauge. Uh, I would guess maybe you might even be okay with a 200 over 200 or 150, 200, but 
uh, if we see where that puts you, luckily it's not during COVID. Kings are, are springs are in stock yeah. from like yeah. us or Summit, and you'd have them in two days. Uh, so it'd be you'd you'd waste less money seeing where that put you. Yeah. 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 Did you see the sway bar question? Uh, no. For my 2023 392, would it be oh. beneficial to run an anti anti rock sway bar? Uh, or keep it stock for more going fast. He likes the fast stuff more than crawling. Uh, it, again, it all depends on your suspension. If you're on a shock and coil spring, I actually really do like the anti-rock sway bars. Um, and especially the go fast stuff where, where like, I don't run a sway bar. Do you run a sway bar? I don't run a sway bar. Where, where we don't run sway bars, we think it, at least I think it maybe benefits us a little bit in slow rock crawling, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of times in the go fast stuff that I do wish I had a sway bar. You ever look a little leaned over? Yeah, and more than, and I see Jamie or like I'll yeah. drive up Peter's uh, 4500 car and he's not leaned hardly at all. Mm. So. There's pros and cons. There's pros and cons. It's, it's I literally, think, it's just what you want to use it for, I think. Yeah. yeah, but if you're just going fast to rip down a road and you're on uh, shocks and coil springs, I, I'd probably recommend trying a sway yeah, bar. Yeah, if you're primarily doing yeah, street yeah. driving and go yeah. fast off-road, I would yeah. say sway bar. Yeah. yeah, I would say like factory-style Jeep suspension, coil and shock, for sure run a sway bar. Yeah. Uh, Adam, yeah. DNA, no 60s on the website, just 70s. Uh, yeah, so we only sell axles that are our own part number with the manufacturers, uh, mostly Curry. So we uh, we only spec Dana 70s for our Tracer, Legend, Elite, and ESX builds. So that is all you will find on our website. Um, and we can only get the custom spec because we buy so many from Curry at the same time. Uh, and that's, that's what we go with. We uh, go with the strongest we can get. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a good question for Jord. How was the Hammers post-race inspection on the race car? Any crazy issues? Yeah, what'd you find? Um, what'd you find? <laughs> There's a so, list of what you... Oh, actually... Dude, this tank, dude. Sure. It was... It's it's in very good shape. It was. I, we haven't, like, fully stripped it down yet. Um, the car is visually in fantastic shape. Nothing's falling off. It actually... The, the rear diff just miraculously started leaking about a month after we I got was, back. I was yeah. going to mention, see if you mentioned that. So, so the, the it's rear, parked in the corner here. It's, yeah, it's parked. And drives a whistle for about two and a half weeks. All yeah. of a sudden, the rear diff just... Dude, but, what I, but what I think was, I think what is happening, I think I just need to go in there, like, fire it up and get the oil flowing again. I think all of the... Because that cooler holds about two quarts. Uh, oh, you think it's settled? And I think, I think the because the car hasn't ran with the pump running, right. I think oh. that it's drained everything out of the cooler into the diff, and it's, it's putting too much. It's the, I think the it's diff like, is yeah. full, maxed full, full. out. Oh. So I think mm. it's putting too much pressure on the seals and, and pushing the oil out. So Okay, I'll um, pray for that being the case, too. Other, yeah. Other <laughs> than I... I, I Almost guaranteed. Like There's, this is, uh, there, it it's, doesn't it's, make sense for it to be anything. It's else. happened before, and like because of how long it stayed dry, I'd be surprised if. Gotcha. Uh, but yes, yeah. generally speaking, the car looks fantastic. Um, I haven't spotted anything um, that's too worrisome. You know, I think it's just going to be a relatively simple prep for the next time it goes out. And I mean that checks out because every time you came into a pit this year, it looks so is good. one of those things. They're like usually we keep looking and totally. keep looking. Mm -hmm. and All we like, have to do is circle and, and be like, like we're and out. Like, and like eventually yeah. you'll find something, yeah. and Just then the rest of the day. Bolt, but that was not. And yeah. the rest of the day yeah. you keep an eye on that thing. Yeah, you know, but yeah. it didn't sound like there was any of that. Yeah, so know? hey, yeah. thanks for making our job easy this year. Yeah, no problem, dude. <laughs> anytime. <laughs> anytime. Can you, can you back that up <laughs> at all? <laughs> Uh, what else we got? Most yeah, we got American Iron off road watching. That's awesome. They're who make the uh, ball joint deletes that I was talking about earlier. That I cannot wait. Even just driving on the road, it's so much tighter. Really? Like I guess I guess I didn't realize how like worn my bottom ball joints were. Mm, it's, you uh, felt it's, it. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's so tight. It feels so good. 
It's kind of cool because you can shine. So that we don't invite him places. Uh, it's kind of cool because you can change your caster and camber with those. Oh, really? So, like, say if you did a junkyard axle and you wanted to change your caster, what if the little sleeve that goes in, you can adjust them to make up for it. Oh, oh that's it's really not cool. symmetrical? Uh, that's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's pretty super rad. awesome. Huh. It's almost a game changer. Yeah. yeah. That kind of stuff. Uh, Patrick Vaughn, see you in San Howell. I'm pretty pumped for that, Patrick. It's always fun to wheel with you. Nana says, hey, guys. Hey, Nana, hey, we Nana. miss you. What's up, Nana? Uh, hey, guys, is there a process on the, is there progress on the JT roll cage? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. We got a, answer. We got a lot of things that we're still working out. Um, there were a lot of cool products that we're trying to get out. So... I don't think the JT roll cage is top five. But it's still on the list, though. Don't, it is. We're not saying it's not on the list. Yeah. It's on the uh, list. But if you really want one, JK Land just ordered our uh, JL full roll cage and converted it to a JT roll cage, mm -hmm. and it looks awesome. Can oh. you send me that? I want to see that. Yeah, it looks. They, the guys at JK Land yeah. did a great job with it. So it can be done. With a little know-how, but a yeah. uh, full kit from us, not not quite yet. Yeah, the, the A-B pillar should be the same, so everything behind the rear seats, you yep. got to get a little custom, but it could little. work. Yeah, like, yeah. the main structure is the A and B pillar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that part will be solid. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got some. What aftermarket coolers do you guys recommend for the transmission? CBR, Durrell, et cetera, et cetera. Also, recommendations for cooling power steering fluid. Um... For transmission, I I have a CBR, tranny cooler, radiator, oil cooler. I highly recommend CBR or Ron, Ron Davis. You can't go wrong with either one of those. Um, as for, far as power steering fluid, uh, I run a, probably a derail about this big. Uh, Jamie, you just run that little finned one that Hal yeah. gives you, and you've never you've had, had a... a Never had a problem. Always use, what are you running? I actually don't run a cooler. Yeah, steering. And it and mine stays relatively cool, like mm. under two hundred. Mm. One one sixty. I've seen it. One seventy. You have a gauge on your steering? I do on the oh. reservoir. I built a the lowest YJ is <laughs> high tech. It's, I have no, no, no it's, idea it's what analog. my steering it's it. an, the gauge is analog though. It literally threads into the the, oh, okay. the reservoir. When my steering That's starts funny. to. I can like tell when it's starting to get hot yeah. because my cooler is mounted in yeah. front of the tranny cooler, mm -hmm. so my tranny starts to get mm -hmm. hot. I almost know that because of how my steering feels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, steering feels different. Tranny must be better, be looking, at, better <laughs> looking at that tranny gauge, yes, which yes. I do have. <laughs> that's good. That's a good one to have. Yeah. Dude, that's funny. Um, but it all depends on feel. So if you, if you feel like your uh, power steering is heating up super quick, maybe check where the cooler is, if it's getting airflow, and mm -hmm. um, you might need to upgrade. I know Tony on Terramoto just runs two little derail small cores about this big and that's plenty for him he has those mounted in front of his radiator yeah and yeah, he's been running those for years yeah, yeah. he swears by them yeah and, uh, he doesn't have i mean they work yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't work to work i have a 97 tj and need to swap my steering box steering gear want to upgrade to psc but can't afford the pump and the cooler kit with it can i run a stock pump and later upgrade the pump swepco i mean you can, but I can't guarantee you that stock pump's going to last long. So what well, it, depend, it depends if you're doing hydro assist or not. So you can't run the stock pump with hydro assist because you're going to need oh, the extra yeah, ports yeah, 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 on it yeah. to go to the RAM. So if you're, um, so if he's just talking about upgrading to the big board box so yeah, and not assist, box, then you, yeah. could, you could probably get by with it. But if you're running the whole hydro assist system, which you probably want to do, uh, you would need the PSE pump as well. Yeah, any tire size bigger than 35s, I'd say yeah. you need a you need hydro assist. Even in a TJ, man, that yeah steering with 30s, then you gotta get the RPMs up just to steer and. But yeah, you definitely gotta drive like you don't have hydro assist though. You gotta like, yeah. steer early or yeah. like you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. over uh, or are there any recommendations for reinforcing my trackboard mounts to the frame? 
Mine looks like it's barely hanging on, and I don't understand how the thing is so friends like flimsy. Uh, uh, is it the factory uh, track bar mount? On, if it's the factory. On JL392. Oh, JL392. oh. No, nothing mm. should be flimsy when it comes to that point. I would, I would gusset it around the whole frame, because I think if I can picture the JL track bar mount, yeah, I think it only sits on the like on below the, the frame. frame, yeah. Like, like, the, like figure out how to tie it into the side. Tie it into the side yeah. and like on the top or the inside or, of the frame if you can. Just wrap it more. Or the ESX chassis oh, has you, that covered. So so you buy a a, a a track bar bracket for X amount of dollars, but it comes with a free chassis. Yes, yes. It's expensive track bar bracket. Expensive track bar bracket. But comes with an entire chassis. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's your best answer. Actually that's... sold separately. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's not going anywhere. Currently running dual PSC cooler bracket in front of my AC condenser and 5 LJ. The AC won't get caught and my water temps are up. So oh, yeah. want to change things around. Thanks for the answer. Um, I mean, I would make sure that my power steering cooler was something up front in the grill that was getting a lot of airflow and could actually release the heat. Yeah. It's a small cooler too, generally, so. Yeah. Oh, we, uh, Blaine Peterson just finally, t just finally tuned in. He's late. Blaine, where's yeah, your motor? Time, Did you fix Blaine. your Jeep yet? Yeah. Come on, Blaine. We expect you at San Hollow next weekend. Ha. <laughs> Next weekend, I was thinking it was gonna say trail hero. Trail hero, yeah. <laughs> nope. See you on Monday. I, I keep getting the two confused. Uh, oh, horn! This is a good one for you. Oh. Ninety-five YJ Dana Forty Fours Big Break Kit Master Cylinder seems a little underpowered. Mm. Any ideas mm. on upgraded master cylinder? Uh, would love Looking larger up. master, Looking more up. fluid. So. <sighs> The 95 YJ comes with a dual diaphragm booster, so a lot of older YJ guys will swap to that, so that helps them a little bit. Um, I've read of people putting in like a like a Dodge Ram Master or something I've, like that. I've, I've, that. I've tried that. So how is that? Uh, so the brake's exactly the same. It just feels a little stiffer. Okay. <laughs> but the but brake... Like the power is the same. The power is exactly the same. Mm. So where I would, and but I was so used to my, to the way before, yeah, yeah to where like I wasn't getting better stopping power, that I took it out because I was I was so used I put the stock. I have a TJ back in, mm -hmm. um, and then talking to other people that have done that, over half of them are like, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, you same could thing. you could swap out um, the whole assembly for like a Crown heavy duty. Um, booster and, and master i've seen those too yeah um, yeah but you also want to check like like i would get rid of any rubber line that you have like you want to go to Correct. hard line or, or braided Correct. stainless line because the line doesn't expand the white just came with rubber lines? yeah yeah really? rubber oh. line from from axle from from frame down to but down oh, to okay caliper. that'd be my first start yeah, yeah so get rid of all rubber lines go to hard lines or braided stainless lines um you could also Go to oh, just make sure all your vacuum stuff is working. Like that, like yeah. that little that little yeah. If your vacuum system is yeah. not working right, you're yeah. gonna lose everything. Yeah. So start with those things. Hopefully that helps. And make sure it's bled right. That's another yeah. thing that I feel like. Oh, another thing, the proportioning people... valve too. So so most likely your or for sure your YJ came with drum brakes in the back. So the proportioning valve is set up to uh, stop the rear first before the front, or send more fluid to the rear before the front. Mm -hmm. To my understanding. Um, but you could get rid of that, run it straight up, you know, line of the back, line of the front. Just yeah. like lowest YJ? Just like lowest well, YJ. My, <laughs> my, my brakes are squishy, but they lock up. Yeah. <laughs> um, squishy and hard. Squishy. And my proportioning valve went out. You yeah. gave me yours. I literally dug my oh. proportioning valve out so of the my, trash yeah. to give to him. Yeah. yeah, so mine, mine, it was the same thing. Like, brakes sucked. 90, and, oh, that's 93. And we YG. narrowed it down to the proportioning valve. That went bad. Yeah. And he pulled his out of the trash, gave it to me, yeah. and it was like night and day. Yeah. I will say, I just changed mine from the factory TJ proportioning valve to the Willwood proportioning valve, mm. and I, I really like it. So that's really? another possibility, too. Change yeah. out to the Willwood with the, mm -hmm. with the knob, right? So, yeah. like an aftermarket. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. With the knob. With the knob. With the knob. knob. Right. All right. What do we got? We have uh, Bo Fisher. What's up, Bo? Terry, what's up, Terry? Still that Blaine Peterson guy. 
<laughs> What's uh, up with them? All right. Well, if we don't have any questions, we're going to call this a wrap. Um, so give a few. Let me go. To All right. Spot. Uh, yeah. You guys got anything else to add? Not really. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Uh, we will. We won't. Hopefully we're decent. Tony will be. Uh, oh, next week is from Sand Hollow. Oh, that's so fun. tune in. We'll be live either on the trails. Hopefully, at back at camp, enjoying a happy hour. But we don't know. Uh, it will be a good time. If and not, we'll, you'll be yeah we'll on the all, trail. We'll have all kinds of trail stories. Um, so tune in if you can't make it next week. Will that be a few days in, or like first day you get there? Which Wednesday? It's, it's like you know, halfway through the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. When are you guys no, getting there? No, 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 but when are you getting there? Uh, Monday. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, first day is Monday. Nice. So, yeah, Jordan and I will roll up uh, Saturday morning really early. <laughs> 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 no, nah, we wouldn't do that. No, we, wouldn't. No, no. we don't have time. Yep. All right. That's a wrap. <laughs> Later. Thanks, Thanks, guys. We're out. Yo, this cabinet, dude. You're still alive. Dude. You're still alive.